If you are running an original 6-fold generator, then you need a cutout that is adjusted correctly and working properly. This video deals with the original mechanical cutouts, not modern diode-based cutouts. The Model A and Model T generator and cutouts are very similar. This video will demonstrate using the Model T as an example, but the Model A is analogous, just with reverse polarity. The original 6-volt cutouts are essentially a set of points that connect the generator to the battery to charge it, and disconnect the battery from the generator when needed, like at slow idle or where the engine is stopped. This video will show you how you can test a cutout and how you can adjust it to work properly. Hi, I'm Stephen from Fliver Channel. The generator cutout is a critical component in the Model T 6 volt generator system. If it isn't working properly, it can lead to a dead battery, a damaged or overcharged battery, or worse. Luckily, it can be accurately tested and adjusted on a bench, and there's even a simple function test you can do without removing it from the car. When a cutout goes wrong, bad things happen. Basically, electrical stuff gets way too hot. If you don't have a fuse added to your system, you should consider adding one. Likewise, if you don't have a battery switch or master relay, you should consider one of those too. On our 1926 Model T, we have both a master battery relay and a fuse. These are not authentic, nor are they period correct, but they are good protection against electrical mishaps. The cutout is a set of points. They need to close at about 6.5 volts and open again at about 5.5 volts. But don't be fooled into thinking a cutout is some sort of voltage regulator, because it's not. It triggers based on generator voltage and or the current flow direction, but once it is cut in, it won't cut out to regulate voltage. That's just not its function. Over time, the cutout can drift out of adjustment. You can test the operation of your cutout on the car or on the bench. To test your cutout on the car, you just need a multimeter or a voltage meter. I'm using a simple voltage meter here with an indicator light so that it shows up clearly on camera. Connect the voltmeter's red positive lead to the output of the cutout and the black negative lead to the mounting screw or any good vehicle ground. Regardless of the ignition key switch position, when your battery switch is on, the meter will read battery voltage. It should be just over 6 volts if your battery is sound. Start the car and bring the revs up. The voltmeter should jump to a higher voltage, indicating that the generator is working and the cutout contacts have closed. If the voltage doesn't jump up when you raise the engine revs, then you have a problem. And when you shut off the engine, the voltage should return to battery voltage level. You can test that the voltage on the generator side is zero, indicating that the cutout points opened as they should. You can also tell that the points open by looking at the ammeter after you have shut the engine off. It should read zero. If the ammeter deflects to the left, showing a discharge with the engine off, then your cutout points have remained closed. This is bad. Switch off your battery disconnect or disconnect the negative battery terminal immediately and remove the cutout to bench test it, repair it, or replace it. The on-car test simply indicates if the cutout is working or not. A bench test will tell us the exact setting, and we can overhaul it if necessary. But before you try to remove the cutout, make sure that you have disconnected the negative terminal of the battery or switched off the master disconnect. Once removed, you will need to open it. Some open easily, and some are welded shut and need persuasion. Steve Blankert has a great video on this linked in the description. 
Before testing, inspect the cutout for broken or loose wires and check the alignment of the points. They need to be square and aligned. You can clean the cutout with contact cleaner spray and you can dress the points. Again, refer to Steve Blanker's video for details. To test a cutout on the bench, you will need a variable power supply that you can adjust from about 5 to 15 volts and your multimeter or voltmeter again. Connect it up like this and slowly raise the voltage from 5 volts. When the points close, note the voltage. This is the cut in voltage. The points on this cutout are closing at about 11 volts, which is much too high. They should be closing at about 6.5 volts. The spring on this cutout is obviously just a little too strong and is holding the contacts closed too long. Bend the spring ever so slightly to reduce the tension and test again. Repeat until it cuts in at about 6.5 volts. Reinstall your cutout and you're good to go. But it's important to remember that a cutout is not a voltage regulator. The generator will build up more and more voltage until it can push its set current to the load. For this reason, there must always be a suitable load, like a good functioning battery installed and properly wired in. Never run a generator without a load, or the voltage will run away and bad things will happen. Remember to check and set the third brush on the generator. That is the topic of the next video in this series.